I already have all these assets, but I don't have them in Adobe Express. So I wanna show you how you can bring them in. What we're gonna start off doing is opening Illustrator. So I'm gonna drag in all my logos and this is just like all the different versions. So I just kind of resize those by pressing shift options. I'm going to center it. Okay, so I'm saving this. Now I'm gonna show you how you can add these quickly to a library. So we're gonna say create new library. So I think what's cool here is that when you start building a library, you can actually like build groups and folders. And I think this is really cool for organization mm -hmm. like we were talking about earlier. So I'm gonna say here, logos. What I do is I just like select these. Yeah. And I just drag them in. You might be thinking, why don't you just highlight them all and drag them in? But if I do that, then, then it's, it, all, in one it's all one asset. We're gonna go into Adobe Express now and I'm gonna show you why it's so nice to create this here and then bring it into Adobe Express. So I'm gonna go to my stuff, libraries, and here it is, Draws in Spanish Demo. Once you hover over this, it says use as brand. Select, the library is now ready to use as a brand on Adobe Express. And then it has everything loaded as a graphic right now. If you select this, edit tag, you can make it a logo. Right in here, we can just hit add color and okay. then just drop in our hex codes or go into more colors and just pick any color. But another way you can add it is through just your library here. So if I go to the Draws in Spanish demo, which is in here, I use the dropper yeah. and grab this pink fill color. It brings it in. I drop it into my little group and then we'll see if it's generated in here. There, there it is. is. Now that we've created the brand, the best part is we can actually apply it to things. If we pop over to Adobe Fresco, my favorite app to illustrate in. Okay, selection tool. I like to just draw my shapes. And I really like using Fresco because I can use vectors, which are infinitely scalable. And then if I like need to trim it, I just kind of select and erase. I'm gonna go here. This is another pencil I like, rough pencil. And I like to just maybe add some little details. Paintbrush has now been saved in Adobe Fresco. In here, if you go to your stuff, it's right there. What? It's in there, in your stuff, and it's showing up as a as a Photoshop file because- It's Fresco. Fresco files are Photoshop files. This is kind of like a carousel that I made to promote an episode. So the cool thing about Adobe Express is that if you go here from, start from your content. I have this, so I'm gonna hit open. Boom. Yes. Nice. I love this. Now I'm able to fully just edit this for a future episode. Schedule post is also an option. So I could go ahead and schedule this Instagram carousel right now. You just connect your channels and then now you can just save it as a draft or schedule it directly yeah. to publish. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click these dots and hit make template. So I'm going to save template. Here it is, it just loaded it as a template. If I click on it, so I can immediately hit start new file and I can then make episode 11 or episode 12 from that file without affecting the template. So I'm just kind of editing it and still using the same brand kit that I already built. Thank you everybody, we appreciate it. All right, <laughs> bye everyone. <laughs>